Hi viewers, in this video we will explain to you about RSI means Relative Strength Index. In technical indicators, under leading indicators, an oscillator, under momentum indicators is RSI, Relative Strength Index. J. Wheels Wilder is the founder of RSI. He also founded indicators like ADX. RSI, Relative Strength Index, is the leading momentum indicator which measures the speed and change of the price. RSI oscillates between 0 to 100 as shown below. Traders interpret that if this RSI touches 30, it indicates price oversold condition and if the price is touch 70, it indicates price overbought condition. We will explain this in detail. Before we explain the formula, you should understand periods. Periods means the number of candles considered. If we say 14 period on the daily chart, it means that 14 trading days, each day represents a single candle. To calculate RSI, we should take the closing prices of the script. RSI is equal to 100 minus 100 divided by 1 plus RS. Relative strength, that is RS, is equal to average gains by average loss. Average gain means the average gain in the closing price for the number of periods taken. Similarly, average loss means the average loss in the closing price for the number of periods taken. Generally, traders start with 14 period data. Most of the trading platforms are set up with 14 periods by default. So, to calculate this, we should take 14 days closing price of the script. Let's see how this is calculated. For example, Let's see the daily closing prices according to the script. Day 1, 99. Day 2, 100. As 1 rupees increased from day 1 to day 2, we can write 1 rupees in the gains. Day 3, 102. As 2 rupees has increased since day 3, we can write points gained 2 rupees. Day 4, 105. Points gain is 3. Day 5, 107. Points gained is 2. Day 6, 103. As 4 points have decreased since the previous day, points lost is 4. Day 7, 100. Points lost, 3. Like that, for 15 days, if we make the list, total gains is 24 and the total loss points is 13. Average gains is equal to 24 by 14, that is 1.714. Average loss is equal to 13 by 14, that is 0 0.928. RS, that is relative strength, is equal to 1.714 divided by 0 0.928, that is 1.846. So, RSI is equal to 100 minus 100 by 1 plus 1.846, that is 64.86. So, on the 15th day when script closes, the RSI is 64.86. Step 2. To calculate the 16th day RSI, this calculation is not that important, so we will not discuss it. Important point. If you want to calculate RSI for N periods, then the data required is 10 times N sessions closing price of the script. For the best results, it's good to take 20 times N sessions closing price of the script. So, for 14 days RSI, 140 days is the data required and of the best results, 280 days is the data needed. In case if you want to calculate RSI for a freshly listed or an IPO company, you should not do an RSI analysis within 140 days. Coming to the RSI uses, this indicator will calculate the internal strength of the security. It indicated the trend of the security when prices are overbought and prices are oversold. It also shows the support and resistance of the prices. If you can analyze and use it properly, 
you can identify entry and exit points as well. In detail, we can identify the trend in the script by observing the RSI. If the RSI is forming higher highs and higher lows, this means it's an uptrend. Similarly, if it is forming lower lows and lower highs, it's a downtrend. If the RSI is moving between 40 and 60, means stock is trending sideways. Generally, the stock will be uptrend if RSI is heading above 60 and downtrend if it moves below 30. We will explain this in our next video practically. Next, if the average gain is equal to 2 times of the average loss, then RS is 2 and RSI is 66.6. Similarly, if the average loss is 2 times the average gain, then RS is 0 0.5 and RSI is 33.3. If you round up both the values, it equals 30 and 70. So, when RSI is 30, which means the average loss is double, then the average gain indicates prices are oversold. Similarly, if RSI is 70, which means the average gain is double than the average loss, it indicates that prices are overbought. If average gain is 4 times of average loss, then RSI is 80 and if average loss is 4 times of average gain, then RSI is 20. Some traders consider 80 and 20 as overbought and oversold conditions respectively. In a strong uptrend, this oscillator moves between 80 to 40, which means 80 is resistance and 40 support. In a strong downtrend, 20 is the support and 60 is the resistance. These calculations and interpretations are generally accepted by the most numbers of traders across the globe. These are not guaranteed for successful trading, but these help you in analysis. Trading always relies on probabilities. I hope you understood these points. 20. 30, 40, 60, 80 and how to use them. Next is entry and exit points. We said 70 is overbought and 30 is oversold. It doesn't mean that you should sell when RSI touches 70 nor you should buy when RSI touches 30. RSI indicates the condition on the script. Many times prices will trend above 70 so one should wait till RSI moves above 70 and come down below 60 and use a lagging indicator to make accurate decisions. Similarly, even below 30 RSI will continue the downtrend. So one should wait until the RSI crosses above 40 and use a lagging indicator to make the decisions. Most of the traders use a combination of RSI and moving averages, lagging indicators, to make decisions on entry and exit. Before you trade using RSI, it's wise to observe the indicator's performance with combinations. So, RSI is helpful in identifying overbought and oversold conditions, identifying support and resistance points and other uses like identifying reversals through divergences, identifying breakouts through failure swings. We will explain you on charts practically in the upcoming video. If you liked our video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you want to open a free DMAT and trading account with FIRES, Please click on the link in the description box below and submit your details. Our FRIERS representative will get in touch and open your account. Have a happy, safe and profitable trading.